You guys have seen this, but I like it. But you guys haven't seen this, any of it. So we're gonna do this in two parts. Um, I've got quite a bit to show off this morning, but there's two batches of it because I wanna get to the stuff that's over there too. This is the clear molten crawl in that dinger party crank. That wide lip square bill. Just a real, real pretty, super translucent. You can see through it without a doubt. I love those in the spring. And I'll tell you what, those big bass, those girls love them too. This is a Mardi Gras and a holographic lipless. That Louisiana, thinking about Mardi Gras Fat Tuesday, it just passed, today's Thursday, but hey, you know. That's also a fun, fun bait. Um, probably, probably real good at up a table rock too, I would imagine. This is the Copper Creek Crawl. The reason I'm not pulling these out of the box is they're already sold and they're getting ready to ship out today. Lots of bright pearl gold underlayer two shades of red, and the cross segments. Got a, almost like a muted cross segment. It's there, that under segment. It's just a little bit blotted out on purpose. It's a, more of a dark water crawl. It's got a lot of flash on the outside, but you really want it to look natural on the inside, like the way that, that came out. These 62.5 A's. That's just plain old ordinary red bug. Great for the spring, all the way through May. Shoot, I'd probably throw this into the summer, but more likely spring, pre-spawn, spawn. This will run to about four feet deep. And if you guys follow me on Facebook, then you saw my buddy Richie post that green and blue peeper craw in the spring. It is, um, it's a crawl that hangs out on the White River, but I'm sure that you all probably have green and blue, especially this time of year, um, just past that molt. They peel that first shell off. And uh, yeah, good pattern, real good pattern. You guys know I love the crawls. But we got a bunch of those. There's just two patterns there, so I wanted to kind of show you guys each of them. This is that Toxic Goblin. It's available at www.jekyllbaits.com. Random white splatter. It's got those Toxic Goblin eyes. That hot fluorescent pink. Just a little bit of deep blue-green on the back end. And those black dots. Good for a fish to key in on. This is that green gizzard shad. Another good pattern in the springtime. A little bit of dark outline. That crystal clear white, pearl white. Very transparent bait. On those fairly recent pressings of the pre wrap design. Although I must say for these, the, uh, the tuning <laughs> is a lot better than what the old pre-wraps used to be. So uh, swimmability, I would actually say that this little guy, um, there's less headaches. You get more that run true. And when I say true, that, that classic erratic pattern that you want those wiggle warts to run. So now on to the next batch. All right, on to the next batch. We'll start with this. Red Hot Craw in the Cedar Run Pressing, 62.5A. Andrew's got a pretty good selection, as does Dinger. Dinger has the longer, deeper running version of this. Check out the eyes on that, y'all. Mother of Pearl. Don't think I'm ready to give up where I got that. 
You can find it if you search hard enough. It's out there. But uh, I haven't seen any other eyes like these. And this is that holographic dinger pressing. Fluorescent yellow. And uh, about three shades of blue on that. Same with this one right here. Just really cool eyes. Love the eyes on this. We've got a fire bug in this LJMD custom. This is dressed with owner hyper wires, P line. Love the um, fast lock snaps on these simply because they're just really, really good. Um, give it a really erratic run when it's when it's swimming. So something to think about. Not everybody uses them. I like them. In the firebug, fluorescent all the way. And another firebug in a wart. These are headed up to Indiana. Got those uh, kind of cool crawl arms on the back and the front. And this one is a match to this one down here. Got white eyes on that one. Got the darker eyes on this one. A couple more of these. I love these too. A couple more of these. Holographic black back shad. That bright red on the throat. And I believe that's it for right now. So thanks for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your week. We've got spray sessions coming up this weekend. Don't miss out that. It's been like 14 degrees. It's been miserable. So everything has been an inside activity thus far. Um, we'll try and get you some fishing stuff. I'm going to try and get out on the water either this weekend or perhaps next week sometime. But until then, you guys, happy casting. And we'll talk to you soon. See you on the water.